illegals in total meltdown after conservative actor James Woods takes back California. California is run by the most despicable leftists in the country, like Governor Jerry Moonbeam Brown. There is one man who is loved by President Donald Trump supporters, conservative actor James Woods, and he is putting the fear of God into those who want California as a permanent sanctuary state. Taking California back and gaining its 55 electoral votes would be a real coup, and it would really piss off the Hollywood losers, too. Is Hollywood star James Woods plotting to run for governor of California? If conservative activist Melanie Morgan and legions of supporters have their way, the answer is a resounding yes. Morgan, who is behind the newly launched petition to push Woods to run, says, Californians deserve a choice in this year's crucial election, and it's a mistake to allow Gavin Newsom to cakewalk right into the governorship without a fight. The Washington Times reports, James Woods, governor of California? Why not? The Golden State has a long history of electing leaders from the deep end of the thespian pool. From Ronald Reagan to Arnold Schwarzenegger, Californian voters actually seem to enjoy casting ballots for Republican actors, reads a petition launched Tuesday, which indeed is calling upon the politically attuned and aggressive Mr. Woods to throw his hat in the ring. Talk radio host and conservative activist Melanie Morgan, a Marin County resident who is coordinating the effort to recruit Mr. Woods says, an effort to shake up the California governor's race by placing James Woods on the ballot is gathering steam. The online signature gathering effort intends to assist fed-up Californians in taking a stand against one-party rule and the increasing likelihood that two Democrats will appear on November's gubernatorial ballot amid a Republican shutout. Mr. Woods, who staunchly supports President Donald Trump, might prove a formidable foe. He has over 1 million Twitter followers, and his opinions are well calibrated, timely, frequent, and provocative. The competition, however, has attracted attention for other reasons. HBO host Bill Maher has proposed Mr. Newsom as a 2020 presidential candidate, a notion that such publications as the San Francisco Chronicle, GQ, and The Hill already have broached. The issue that affects most Californians is illegal immigration and you'd be surprised at how many California voters who want to stop the sanctuary cities live outside of the two big liberal cities of Los Angeles and San Francisco. Democrats want to bring as many illegals in as possible to add them potentially as Democratic voters, that's the truth. Woods reminded President Trump, this is what you're knuckling under to on DACA in a tweet that featured a video of Nancy Pelosi at what can only be described as a dreamer's circus. Some analysts have suggested that the Democratic Party is keenly interested in certain demographic groups primarily because of their potential to become vital voting blocs. A leaked in-house memo appears to confirm that, admitted the Washington Times. The fight to protect dreamers is not only a moral imperative, it is also a critical component of the Democratic Party's future electoral success, reads a lengthy private advisory memo released by Jennifer Palmieri president of the Center for American Progress Action Fund, and executive director Navi Nayak, which was obtained by the Daily Caller News Foundation. If Democrats don't try to do everything in their power to defend dreamers, that will jeopardize Democrats' electoral chances in 2018 and beyond. In short, the next few weeks will tell us a lot about the Democratic Party and its long-term electoral prospects, the advisory notes. So, right there. They admit that the fake Democrats care nothing about the DACA people. All they care about is turning them into good little Democratic voting machines. I'm so tired of the fake bleeding heart liberals, whose hearts are as cold as ice. I can only imagine the kind of crap they say about the DACA dreamers when no one is listening. So, is James Woods the man to take back California? Well, he would have a chance, I think, but it would sadly be a slim chance. As a California native, maybe it's just wishful thinking. This state was great when Ronald Reagan was governor, and he was even able to gain the 55 electoral votes California holds. Too bad those days are long gone, it would take a lot of guts for anyone to try to write the hot mess California is in, is in.